Well, thankfully, we survived the end of the world, the apocalypse yesterday. Total eclipse witnessed by millions from the South Pacific across the United States into Canada uh, was fascinating. But the whole conspiracy theory, of course, came up empty again, as those things always do. Don't worry, God will be along on his timetable, not ours. So while God is deciding when that may be, let's turn our attention to Joe Biden, Democrats, and those running this country that do not believe laws apply to them. And when it comes to the laws in this country in general, they will decide which ones apply and which ones don't. You see, it's up to them. They, they're, they're, they're higher. They stand above the law. They will not consult Congress, and they will thumb their collective noses at anyone who raises their voice in objection. You see, Joe and his minions will apparently do whatever they want and whatever they want. And they do not care about you or what you might think about any of it. I mean, they're in hot pursuit of a one-party system here in America. And they're so power-hungry, they can taste it. They'll not let anything get in their way. Let's start with a new proclamation by Joe Biden. It happened in Wisconsin yesterday. That he's going to forgive billions of dollars in student loans again. And he doesn't care that it's already been struck down by the United States Supreme Court. doesn't matter. Strangely enough, it was the woman who is just one faint heartbeat away from sitting in the big chair that did a better job explaining how this is apparently going to work. Yeah, buying votes with your money, giving the Supreme Court the finger. Listen. Your loans will be completely forgiven, regardless of your income and even if you did not graduate. So I'm going to repeat that. If you've paid undergraduate loans for more than 20 years or graduate loans for more than 25 years, those loans will be completely forgiven regardless of your income and even if you did not graduate. And forgiveness will be automatic for the vast majority of the 25 million people that we believe will benefit from this approach. I want you to understand exactly what you just heard. Regardless of income, whether or not you graduated, doesn't matter. We're going to forgive your money. I want you to understand exactly what old Kamala said right there. She wants you and me to pick up the bill for student loans for people that make more money than we do. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much money you make. These people make more money than we do, some of them. Doesn't matter if you're a high-priced lawyer or a surgeon or a businessman. If you still have student loans hanging around, the American taxpayers are going to grab that bill for you. Congratulations. If you're an electrician, plumber, a carpenter, or work on the line at General Motors and never went to college, yeah, that doesn't matter either. Joe is sending the working men and women of America the bill for the kids that were lucky enough to go to college, and it doesn't matter if you made it out. Even if you went off to college, got drunk, and flunked out, hey, no problem. The American taxpayers are picking up your tab, so maybe you'll get more drinks. Huh? How do you like that? If you got kicked out of college for bad behavior and you still owe money, great news. American taxpayers are picking up the tab for you, too. It doesn't matter. And I mean, ain't this great? It just doesn't matter who you are. Joe Biden and the Democrats want to buy your vote with other people's money. My money. My money and your money. And remember, the Supreme Court said this was unconstitutional and nobody in the administration cares. Like I said, they will do whatever they want. They'll do whatever it takes.